Good morning guys. So today I am going to tackle those little IKEA projects I mentioned in my last video. Little things that I think will make my flat a little more comfortable. So I went to IKEA in the last video and got a bunch of stuff. Um I don't there's nothing major like I do I do need a few big furniture pieces still like that I want to replace like my coffee table that's kind of really old and I got a really cheap one. Um, I kind of wanted to get like a cabinet for over here. I didn't get that. So these are all like little changes. Like I ha haven't had a towel rack in the washroom this whole time. I have like little hooks on the door, but you know, to hold like bath towel, face towel, hand towels, not enough. Also in the hallway, like the little hallway when you come in, I don't really have proper shoe storage. So I want to get that there. But yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So let's get started with the easiest thing, which is replacing this mirror. Um, the issue I have this mirror is that it's actually a bit too short. I didn't realize that when I was looking at the listing, but 145 centimeters is not really a comfortable height to look at full length. Um, my head is always like kind of hitting the top of the mirror there and it just looks kind of awkward in the room as well So I'll be replacing it with my all-time favorite IKEA mirror I've had this in Canada for years and loved it It's the Hovet mirror from IKEA and luckily it was actually also on sale And I was able to sell the mirror that I already have on Facebook marketplace So this mirror really only cost me around 30 pounds Next, I'm gonna tackle my desk area. It's become an embarrassing mess and I don't really work here. I really only use this desk to get ready now. I have this Muji makeup container and all my makeup is just stacked on top and stuffed into bags next to it. Where my laptop is supposed to go is just a bunch of random stuff that I stuffed underneath and my Dysons can't seem to find a home so I have the container there but every day I take out a few of the styling equipment so I end up putting it in the little box on top. So I just need a better system for all of this and then maybe I'll use this desk again to actually work. Let's start by clearing it off. So the first thing I'm going to put together is some extra storage, which I definitely need below the desk. But because the desk legs kind of stick out to either side and get narrow at the top, I, my options were quite limited and I didn't really want to invest in a new desk or anything. So I just got this really 
affordable metal drawer system from Ikea. I had this before in Canada and I think it works pretty well. It's definitely a little bit flimsy, but I think for everyday use, it's totally fine. And I believe it's only 13 or 14 pounds, so very affordable option. Another new product from Ikea is this little tablet and earphone holder, which I can use this to hold my AirPods and also place my iPad on it so it's not just hidden away. I was trying to fit this makeup drawer underneath the table on top of the drawers, but it didn't quite fit. So you know what, we're going to have to just keep it on the desk. And it's also good for easy access since I use it every day, but I just have a lot less clutter on it now. I just have my go-to makeup and then the rest is going into the drawers underneath the desk, which thankfully slides in perfectly. And now I'm able to hide all that clutter under the desk. Now this item is probably what prompted my trip to Ikea because I thought this would be the perfect solution to housing my Dyson Airwrap. I know that they sell those Dyson Airwrap holders on Amazon, but I kind of just didn't like how they looked and how you could only really put the Dyson product on it. So I thought this would be a great kind of drawer to hold um, my Dyson in. So I am going to attach it to the side of my wall, which is kind of hidden from sight unless you're sitting at the desk with some double-sided Velcro. So I seen someone use this on TikTok to hold something quite heavy. So I thought this could work. And I think it was a relatively affordable option if you didn't want to drill into the wall. I, and I quite like that it's removable. So I'm just planting the tape both on the wall and on the I don't know, hanger thingy, majiggy. And I'm gonna leave it actually for a day to let the glue cure so that it holds better in the long term. I'll update you guys and let you know if this is a good or bad product. So far, so good though, and it's been like two months. The next area I'm gonna tackle is this entryway. So this mirror came with the unit. I don't really like it, but it's a really small space and I don't really have any storage for my shoes. So far, I've just been putting it into the cupboard, but it's kind of inconvenient and really hard to access the shoes in the back. So I really wanted um, a shoe rack here. I decided to go with this Ikea kind of like plastic shoe storage option because none of the wood options I liked a lot, but I quite like the minimalist design of these and how they have a little dip at the top where you could place your items. And I thought I could make it look floating with the um, trimming or like, what do you call it? That ledge at the bottom of the floor that it could kind of float on um, even with a non drilled option. So once again, I'm using the double sided Velcro to attach this to attach it to the wall. I was a little bit worried here because that wall is actually not flat. It's a little bit like a popcorn wall, but it's been painted over. So it's smooth-ish, but still like not flat. But yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. So I'm just gonna mark at where the edge of the kind of box is gonna sit. So I know where to place one side of the tape and just clean off that area um, so that it has a really clean surface to stick on. And as I did before, I am just gonna apply both sides of the tape to the surfaces for today, and I'm gonna actually attach them tomorrow. I use like kind of like a makeshift method for centering it, but to be honest, it wasn't totally centered, but I think that's the good thing about Velcro. As long as some of, the, like most of the part is touching, it'll um, still stick on. So that kind of worked out in my favor. Another area I've been really putting off is this little nook above the toilet in the bathroom. 
I did imagine that it could have been really cute with the print in the middle hung up and then the vines kind of growing around it because this area sort of dips in a little bit. I'm going to start off with the print. I had this print for about a year now. I bought it from some shop in Shoreditch, but it's by a local artist and I just never found the right size frame for it. I finally bought one from Ikea that was bigger than it is because I bought one that was smaller than the print before. Anyways, I finally got the right size um, and now I can finally hang it up. Now for the plants, I was imagining that I could place two on each side and it can grow kind of up the sides with the help of some command strips. So I'm just attaching that to the wall now and then I'll clip parts of the vine in so it can be slowly let up and then waterfall downwards when it gets too long. Another thing, I didn't really film me attaching it, but I got this IKEA towel rack um, holder that is one of those suction cups because I actually don't have one in my washroom. I didn't want to drill anywhere and I realized attaching it to my shower was the easiest way. <sighs> okay, I am exhausted. I've gotten most of the stuff I wanted to do today done. I'm gonna try and do the rest sometime during the week, but the big chunk of things are done. A lot of the stick on stuff, I need to let it sit because the stuff is so heavy. I wanna make sure it's stuck. So um, it advises you waiting 24 hours before sticking like the other part on. So I'm gonna do that because I wanna be extra safe um, or like extra sure because these Velcro double-sided tays are not cheap. And I don't really want to go through this process of measuring, kind of measuring and putting it on again. So anyways, I am going to call it a day. All right, it's the next day now. I don't know why I never talked to the camera this whole time while I was doing this process. So sorry guys, I'm, I know some people don't really love voiceovers, but it's going to be mostly voiceovers from now on, I think. Um, in this video at least. So it's been 24 hours. Now I'm attaching the um, Velcros together, praying that it'll stick, and it looks like it's gonna work pretty well. It actually feels quite sturdy when I shake it and doesn't seem like it's gonna fall anytime soon. So I think the double-sided Velcro is worth a try if you're looking for a renter-friendly option. So as you can see, the bottom little shelf is perfect for placing the dice on handle on. There's actually some little hooks below it that you could hang some stuff off of, which I haven't really thought of what I would hang off of that, but you could. Um, and then the little basket above is great for holding all my hair products and all the Dyson attachments that I use regularly. So I can put the attachments, my hairspray, my hairbrush, and it's just like an easy basket for me to like just throw stuff in but still have it be like in one small place i think this originally is some kind of desk organizer but but to me this is the perfect solution for storing my dyson now i'm attaching the shoe storages and this went on pretty easy although i think with the velcro you kind of need it to interlock so you sort of need to like place it a little bit higher than the velcro actually meet and kind of like slide it down so the velcro interlocks if that makes sense um because at first i didn't do this and it did actually start kind of peeling back a bit after um maybe two three weeks but when i redid it and attached it properly it seems pretty sturdy so far and it doesn't seem to be detaching from the wall like the the velcro that's on the wall isn't detaching from the wall even though it's kind of like bumpy and not the smoothest so i think that's a really good sign that it's holding on very strong And 
I'm so happy now that I have this compact space to hold all my shoes and this little entry area is still clear and there's a place to put like my phone, my keys when I enter. Um, I still need to get something above it because it is quite empty. So I think I need to get a mirror for there. Lastly, I got some bits and bobs for the kitchen. So um, I don't know why, just when things are placed on the counter, it looks messy unless you kind of contain it with something. I bought this, um, I don't know what you would call it, rack drawer thing for on top of the counter where you can place things on the tray and then there's actually a knife um, holder but it where I'm placing it I'm, I can't put knives in it because it's not tall enough but I think it's super cute and it really elevates the space and then here I can put all the all the things I need or want to have on the counter so on here I just have two types of oils my um, cooking oil and an olive oil and then I'm also putting a little container of Malden sea salt and a little jar of chili oil. I have a empty jar there as well. And also I have my pepper grinder, some sesame oil, and some green onions in some water that I usually keep on my counter but fits perfectly into this little space. The side also has an area where it could hold your cutting board, so I put my charcuterie and smaller cutting board there. And then I'm also going to put some small dishes on top because there is a little dip there and I think it's just perfect for when I need to grab a little dish to put like a dip or like if I have a little bit of kimchi on a little plate, um, it's just easy access. I also got some um, plate risers to better organize my bowls and plates and cups. I live alone so I don't really have that many but then the, I, the dishes I do have they stack up quite high and makes it difficult to access and I don't have that much storage space so I kind of want to put them all in one place but I wanted to at least divide the types of bowls and plates and cups so that um, it's easier for me to grab. And that concludes the little batch of home improvements I wanted to do. I'll try to link everything I mentioned in the description box below. I know this video is a little bit different than what I normally do, but normal vlogs will be coming back very soon. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Skylight, paint the night.